hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's like get started go to your file select new then i'm using four by four inches and the resolution 300 then you click on create so now go to your resource file and import church logo you position it at the top here select your rent angle draw a rent angle over here Then apply a shape corner. Don't worry about the background. I'm going to temp I'm going to apply a temporal background to it. For now, I'll be using this one. Then increase the size of the logo. Then select the rent angle and adjust it by reducing it. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then come over to your test document to copy the church name. Then change the font color to black. Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm using the font Montserrat. then apply regular or semi bold anyone you want okay then apply vertical alignment to centralize it ctrl plus d to deselect then make it semi uh, medium bold Then come over to your test documents and make a copy of this one. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it down, highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then apply character spacing. Eight hundred and forty percent is okay. Then apply your vertical alignment and Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then you drag it down. Use your arrow key. Then I will copy this one over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this one. Take it up over here. Then bring it down. Highlight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the font size. I'm going to change the font to every face. I'm going to link all the fonts I will be using in this tutorial in the description. Now highlight this one. Go to your test documents and I will copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. then come over here and select your rent angle draw a rent angle then change the color to red then 
double click here then apply red column then position your test now change the um, the font boldness to semi bold and uh, change the font color to white increase the rent angle hold your sheet key while you select it then apply vertical and horizontal alignment to fit it inside then use your arrow key then to move it up then make a copy of this one then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate bring it down highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then make a duplicate of this one highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size now import this image reduce the size increase it all right then apply your layer mask then you clean up this area then come over here to make a copy of your test then make a duplicate of this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it up and bring it down then select to alight it and paste then i'm going to change the font to Brittany signature then highlight the this letter and make it a small letter now increase the size position it over here for now then come over to your test and make a copy select your test tool Then go back to your font and make a change because I'm going to use Mozart over here. Then drag it up. It's okay. Then duplicate this one and bring it down highlight it go back to your test document and copy the name ctrl plus v to paste reduce it a little 
then make a copy of this one select to alight it then and you type this test here host okay then i'm going to change the font of this one to a brief phrase then apply vertical alignment to centralize the test and position it over here now select this one and i'm going to reduce the size then adjust it by using your arrow key then draw a rectangle at the top here then change this color to this temporal color for now then i'm going to duplicate it i will change this color to red then select your test tool and paste this one now use the font Montserrat and make it medium then you drag it up here reduce the size then change the font color to white okay use your arrow key then to drag it up then select your rectangle draw another another rectangle and i will use this color as for tempera then right click and skew it to the right double so what i did is to duplicate it then now we apply white color on this one for now import this image reduce the size and i'm going to select the two i make a duplicate of and now we drag it over here Now come back to the image, adjust it, rotate it a little. Now hold your control plus alt key and press G to create a clipping mask. Then apply a color from the background shirt. Then I'm going to copy the name, select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, and I will change the font color to black for now. So why I'm using all this color is because I have not applied the background. By the time that I'm going to apply the background, then I'm going to 
make change to all the color I'm using here. Then I'm going to copy the name of this one, then unpaste it, then go to your, your resource file, import the image. Then you rotate it a little, then hold your control plus alt key and press G to create a clipping mask. So you can see what I did there is to apply a background color from the shirt. Right. Okay. So I think it's okay like this. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Then position it over there. Select the image and delete it. Why I will import this one, reduce the size. Then position it where right click and flip it horizontal to change the direction like this. Okay, now I'm going to make a copy from the background to apply the color. So as you can see the three images now, so the color, the background color is from the images. Then go to your test document and make a copy of the name. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to make a copy for the date and time. Then import this icon and position it over here. Ctrl plus hue for hue and saturation. So what I did now is to change the background to white so by the time i'm going to apply the background then so the white will come up So, okay, as you can see, I also changed the color to white, but soon I'm going to apply a background. Then change the color of this one to red, and I'll position it around here. Alright, so now I'm going to apply this background so that I will be able to see exactly what I'm doing over there. Then apply your blur, 29.1%. Then increase the size of this one.
Okay. So as you can see, I'm a little bit fast here because I know you can all do this very easily. Then increase the size of the test. I think it will be okay like this. Always zoom out and zoom in to see the outcome of your work. Then reduce the icon. Then control plus hue for hue and saturation. Now copy the location, control plus C to copy. Select a test tool, control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to remove it from board to semi board. Then you reduce the font size. Increase it. All right. Then I'm going to select the time and date again. Hold your shift key. Then increase the size. Then now I'm going to copy the last test. Control plus C to copy. Then make a duplicate of this one. Highlight it. Control plus V to paste. Control plus A to select all. Apply a vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm increasing the size of the image. Using your arrow key then to bring this one down a little. Now group this one. Go back to your resource file. Import this background. Place it at the top of it. Reduce the size. Then right click and create a clipping mask or hold your control plus alt key and press G to apply the same thing. Now apply your blending option. Select bevel and elbows. Then I'm using chisel hard, the depth is 100 and the size is 6. Then select the contour and apply this one. Go to your drop shadow. Then I'm, make, I'm using normal, the opacity is 100%. The distance is 4, the spread is 4 and the size is 13. Then click OK.
increase the size a, a little then select this background and increase it all right now i'm going to apply change of color to the test now So I'm using this color over here. Then this one, I'm going to make it white. Make it semi-bold. And for the host, I'm going to make use of this color also. then for the name of the guest artist i'm going to change all the color to white okay then go to the top and make change of color to these ones and this one change the color to white now we are going back to our background now then import this white paper background increase the size then go to your filter blur gaussian blur then change the change it to 6.8 then go to your blending mode and apply soft lights increase it a little more now apply a gradient color so over here i'm going to copy this code for the gradient color select this one open the color then ctrl plus v to paste it Okay. Then I'm going to import this one. Bring it over here. Increase it a little. Okay. So having blended, change the blending mode to overlay, go to your filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and input 8.0. Then go back to your resource file here and I will import this one. You drag this one down. Okay. Then go to your filter, select blow, Gaussian blow. Then I make it 9%. Alright. And go to your blade mode change it to hard light so then apply your layer mask and you blend it 
So now you can see the changes that is coming up now. Then also go back and import this worship image. Reduce the size. Right click and then flip it horizontal. Okay. Apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and you blend over here. Okay. So we are done with the background now. So the next thing now, I'm going to select the date and time and the location and drag it down. Then on this one now, I'm going to adjust it. Then select this one and I'm going to change the color now to white. Also this one. So all the images here now, so the background color, I'm going to change the first one all to white background. So, all right. Now apply this light flare, reduce the size, then you bring it and position it over here, then change the blending mode to screen, Drag this one down a little. Then apply this one. Also reduce the size. Position it around the end. Then change the blending mode to screen. Apply a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Then I make it 15%. Then you click OK. Now you can position it over here. Okay, something like this. Also change the color of this one. Okay, then on this test here, I'm going to change this one to small letter and adjust the test. Then this one, you drag it up and this one increase it while you hold down your shift key. something like this and make it bold so that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more video and if you are interested in to order any of my graphic design go to my father the link is under there